you know, it's not too long ago that it was the end of winter and we always get some kind of a blowdown from trees around us. Well, you might want to get out there with a chainsaw. So I have some information from Wayne from Steel. And so, you know, we want to get out there and really clean up our property. So you really have some tools and some safety equipment we can talk about. You bet. And you know, when you see, have these winds, you're always eager to go after the biggest tree that's out there that's fell. And oftentimes that isn't the one that you need to address. There's a lot of smaller stuff. Sure. And so you get a big saw that's a lot of work to run and it's proper for the first six cuts. And after that, it's a lot heavier than it needs to be. <laughs> that's true. That is true. Yeah. So, Maybe call the professionals for that. Yeah, there's, there's pros for doing that and they, it doesn't cost that much to have them work up but just a portion of something. But then you can go back and, and work on the limbs and the small wood and, and clean up and, and spend all summer doing this cleanup job if you want. And uh, you're not going to be invested in a piece of equipment that may not be the right one for you. Right. You know? So tell us about this one because it looks like it, it's not too heavy. No, it's not. And, and this is an electric battery powered ah, saw. That's even better. That's right. Um, this one's cooler. You, you don't have to have a tool to adjust the chain. It's all uh, with a toolless. Right. It's got an automatic oiling system and a chain brake, so it's it's as safe as a chainsaw can be. And if you um, have a battery powered saw, all you have to do is change batteries and go back to work. Ah, nice. Next year or three years from now when you want to use it, make sure your battery's charged and away you go, you work again. Where these gas saws that are a little too big, they generally are sitting with fuel in them. Oh, that's bad. Bad. Right. And and you're gonna it's gonna cost you. Right, right. And that's what's so nice about all the battery powered steel um, tools is you don't have to worry about mixing oil and gas or draining it or cleaning it and it's like it's a battery, you charge it. That's right. And that same battery works in a whole array of tools, so you aren't buying a lot of different batteries. You just buy that one and you can get a line trimmer and a blower and an edger and all the tools that you want to use to Excellent. work on your yard. And then what about this little one? It looks like just like a little gun <laughs> or yeah. like a gun. <laughs> well, this is a new product that we came out with about a year ago and it is a huge hit. Everybody That's that cool. buys them is just goes crazy about it. They want to buy four more for all their kids and everything. <laughs> um, they have been advertised by uh, offshore scam artists trying to get people to send them $20 and <laughs> no. those aren't real ads. No. You go to a steel dealer for <laughs> a steel tool. Right. But this little rig is really great for a garden trimmer. And, and the garden trimmer, anything basically that's up to about three inches, you can cut nice. off. And, and how much is bigger than that when you're out there trimming? Yeah. You don't have to use loppers. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really a sweet tool. Right, kind of saving on your shoulders. That's right. Definitely. Yeah. And then what about safety? Because, you know, these are power tools. Mm -hmm. It's just because they're battery doesn't mean that you don't do the safety things. That's right. And, and it's just as much with this as with any power tools, your eyes and your ears, a helmet if you're working out in the, in the, uh, under the trees, right. uh, wear gloves, wear full length pants and shirts and dress for the job. That's right. the important thing. And the user manuals, the operator manuals, all explain what sure. needs to be done. Right. And then if we're interested, how can we find where to go buy them? Well, if you go to Steel, uh, Google Steel online, it's going to come up with uh, steel dealers. I like to tell them, well, if you live in Tualatin, put in Steel Tualatin, sure. and it's probably going to bring up your local dealer. Definitely, definitely. So, you know, there's going to be a steel dealer in your neighborhood, but go to gardentime.tv and we'll have that link for you. But really, we want to be cleaning up our gardens this year so we can enjoy them. So much fun today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.